Hello. Geppetto, Charon, Sad Dracula or Grandmother? I'd say out of these, Charon and Sad Dracula are among the bottom of the sort of tier list I'd make. With Geppetto and Grandmother being more along the average. Do I want to try Grandmother, whose main advantage is more health until you reach 6 and then a nice little bonus or a big one if you're going animals? Or Geppetto, with bonus for animals the entire way? Either way, we want to go animals. I think I'm going to go with Geppetto this time around. Hmm, so we had not luck to find a cat so early, but Cinderella with a free roll is perfectly fine. Since there's no Cinderella here either, I mean no black cat, sorry. Since there's no black cat here either, I am considering not locking. The other consideration is a baby root with a shot of the ice queen is rather nice, I think I'll do that actually. It can be a black cat, but even if it's not, it's still going to be pretty decent and advance the quest for Cinderella. Which might give us something nice, depending. I'm rather fond- oh, that's unfortunate. I'm rather fond of uh, Crown of Atlas on animals, personally. Oh, that's about as bad as it could have gone. Hmm, Blind Mouse. I mean, I could lock for this, but honestly it feels like a bad idea. A Mim or a Black Cat would be so much more value that I am not locking this. We're fighting against the Horde Dragon, I'd rather hit it, honestly. I mean, apart from conserving life, I just want the Horde Dragon. Then again, look at this lineup. Horde Dragon, Skip, Selua, and Pan's Shadow. Early game, or early mid game, should really belong to us because we are pretty much the only one with uh, functioning hero power. Uh, at least until Mask turns into something else. Well, we don't have a functioning hero power yet, or at least we didn't. Oh, uh, thank you. This Kitty Cutpus is the most valuable Kitty Cutpus I think I've ever had. Uh, secret stash, I guess. Don't really have a desire to go with every evil I meet. I'd much rather have Cinderella, let's say will spawn 3 4 fours for us. And I don't think I'll also be going all good either, so this is as good as it gets. Hmm. This should be fine, I think. But yes, look at this amazingly valuable Kitty Cutpus. It gave us an artifact and a dragon. <laughs> Pan's Shadow. Yet another powerful early game character. Hmm, okay, that's good. That guarantees my win. And now we'll also get another 1 gold. Which makes it easier. 6 rather than 5 gold. It means I can take 2 threes if I want to. Hmm, let's see what have we got here. This is obviously, so obviously coming in. And the other one is presumably this 2-4, because the others don't do anything this round and I don't particularly want to invest in them either. Honestly speaking, uh, Sleeping Princess is actually pretty good if you bother to wake her up, but there's no guarantee that I can. And besides, I soon want to get rid of her anyway in favor of more animals and synergy characters. So, I didn't think the investment. I mean, it could be a turn or two until I can wake her up. So, the value potential is rather limited. Fighting against Skip, could he... I don't think he is in any way, shape or form ready to stabilize. I think I should win this one. I mean, I have a full board just now, but he shouldn't. Yeah, this is definitely my win and a big one as well. Punish the skip for skipping first turn. Ah, oh, that saved you 3 health. Hmm. Okay, I'll take this chicken for now. And I don't want to take this kitty cut purse. You've been very nice, much better than I expected, but no. I think I am taking the white stag though. It is a rather powerful character and um, a great improvement on Cinderella. Especially with Shadow Assassin here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. There's an alternative. 
Just keep rolling and look for Cinderella because she's insane. With Geppetto, I mean. I can do it. If I consider myself strong enough with what I currently have, I can just ignore the stag and take a roll for Cinder um, Princess Peep. Sorry, Princess Peep. Or I could take the stag. Hmm. Am I that strong though? Am I? I think I will be less greedy rather than more. Fighting the Sphinx. Player, what a name. Well, I suppose at least you'll get something for it. Ah, oh, that's the worst hit you could have made. I really wanted that range to just die, but it really doesn't matter. It's just like one damage difference. Hmm, definitely not bothering with a level 2 artifact. Honestly, <laughs> with the move for Feasting Dragon from 5 to 4, the plus 5 plus 5 for Dragon's artifact is actually quite viable, I think. Haven't gotten too much use of it yet, but I think it could. Now, obviously, Princess Pip is what we take, that's unquestionable. We will also be taking this little healing potion because we can afford to. And I think that's about uh, it for now. Uh, should I white stag number two? Level three artifacts are very good, but least of all with uh, animals because there's not much that you want to buff. I mean, all of the multipliers are after and the animal already died and the thing doesn't get the stats. Unless, of course, you go with uh, the trench coat uh, guys on five. Hmm. Mm hmm. Should I try for it? I suppose there's always map. Map is always good. Should I take it? Is it better than this dragon? I think. Farewell, Kitty Cuspus. You've done well. More than your job. I think this should be fine. We should be able to win this. And honestly, it's very important to hate all of these people while they're weak. So many. Very, very powerful late game characters here. Selva in particular, as you might have noticed by now, I value very highly. It'll be good to see him gone, if possible. That's good, wouldn't want to give you something. Okay, almost got another character by hitting the princess people, though play more on my side so the damage might actually have been higher. Now here we have nothing that has any synergy with us. Considering the number of uh, animals we currently spawn, I don't think... Oh, there's two feasting dragons here. That might be worth stopping for, honestly. There's also this Sporko that I very much want. Hmm, I think I'll try and take all. This is one feasting dragon. This is the Sporko, definitely want that. And here's another feasting dragon. We will try and get these. They, they have 10 attack, they're very likely to kill something for at least the next round, if not another one as well. And uh, should we be able to get 2, 3, 4 uh, to all stats for all future purchases, it's going to be quite meaningful, I think, uh, this early in the game. We just hit level 4 and 2 dragons with uh, plus 5 attack from Spoko. That's a very interesting opportunity that I decided to capitalize on. Let's see if I made the right decision. If it's even viable. I'll judge by just how likely I am to get it rather than whether I do or not get the slay. Fighting against Celestial Tiger. Wonder if he has any artifacts. Because that's literally his hero power. Hmm. Okay, one. I got one. Actually he was likely to get... No, I think that's about it. Hmm, thank you for your donation. So, plus one, plus one to everything. And that's like a 30 cost spell. This one. I am definitely buying Princess Peep. Let's see if we can't get better. More and better. No, nobody can use that. Hmm. Now that's interesting. I'm taking it. Question. This thing is plus 3 plus 2. 
Should I or should I not just replace it with this princess peep? Hmm, plus 3 plus 2 for 4 is probably better than uh, she spawns 3 five fives. Hmm. No, I'm not sure it's even better. It might uh, actually be better to just do this, honestly. I mean, these two won't do much, but they still spawn 5-5s, five and then I'll have a bunch of 5-5s five here. It might be fine, so long as we don't face a donkey. <laughs> now, what would be the best for us? Honestly, uh, Hippo might even be a little late. We're going on turn 5. Uh, well, no, we're going on 11-5, I mean. If we win this one, it'll be 5 and a third, and Hippo will not even be a consideration. As for the Buzzard, I might still take it, but I also might skip it. We'll see. That's one. Uh, I have one in three. That's to be expected, I suppose. Oh, wow. How lucky for me. Hmm, that's pretty decent, actually. I mean, it's not good against me right now, but it's pretty decent in terms of him gaining more power for the later stages of the game. Oh, not this one, I wanted the other one. Oh well, he did it for me, that's perfectly fine. We can't lose. We can't tie though. Hmm, so we currently have plus 2 plus 2 and everything. It's not the most amazing, but it's not terrible either. Since we tied instead of winning, we lost 1 XP, which is very sad. Bearded Vulture, I... Hmm... I suppose I'll take it? I mean, I have a bunch of animals. How much does it take to make him viable? This is basically 17-17 in terms of total stats. And this thing, how much would it need? At least 4 animals to die to be the same. Hmm... I mean, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then another 3, so it's 7. It should be fine. Oh, that's very nice. I guess I'm not getting that level 3 artifact. I will take this, though. It's very nice. Um, let's see what else is there. What else do I need? I guess I'm just trolling for another bear. Uh, or... Hmm, that's also nice. I guess I'll sell these two and make you... Uh, the summoning portal is the obvious. And I'll take this spell. May as well. I wonder if I should lock for uh, Baba Yaga. It might be interesting to just double this for 4-4 four, four for everything every round. I'll try it, I think. And that's a bit of a shame. That's uh, plus 2 plus 2 to everything. Hmm. I'd say he had decent... Uh, dragon hits. Obviously the Vulture is the best hit he could have made. Now I don't expect to win this, not one bit. That dragon is just way too big. <laughs> 11 damage, that's a lot. Hmm. Let's see now. This might actually be interesting. Just put it in and uh, enjoy plus 4 plus 4, I think, to everything. Is that true? Is that how it works? I think so. Hmm. Let's keep rolling. Uh, hmm. Very interesting. Should I try it? I mean, the cat is a level 2 artifact, which might not even matter. Should I try it? I could get another Baba Yaga, but that's sacrificing power for it, isn't it? It's a bit bad. Getting another Baba Yaga will be interesting though. I think it would make it 8-8 eight, eight on everything. Is that logical? On the other hand, I could just take a Grim Soul. I'll just take a Grim Soul for now. Then we'll upgrade the Grim Soul and Baba Yaga. We might even turn completely into Slay, simply because we see so much synergy for it. Two Baba Yaga and an upgraded Grim Soul in this point in the game. 
If we just find Ramon, it's pretty much over. Hmm, was that 8-8 eight, eight to everything? Let's see. I think so. Oh wow, that dragon is going to give him so much value. Oh, perhaps not so much. Between Portal and uh, Baba Yaga, things are a little big. Not killed one, so it's not useless. Oh. Oh, never mind, we actually won and I didn't see much value off of it. That's a 15-18 Baba Yaga. That's pretty big. Red Applicator? Doesn't seem very valuable. Forking Rod? Hmm. Coin of Karen. I mean... It might be value. Red Applicator is kinda useless for us. Forking Rod? Hmm. Coin of Karen. Let's take Coin of Karen. May as well. Everything is gigantic. There's nothing we particularly want to upgrade. We could just... No, we don't have enough gold for that anyway. Hmm. Okay, we are very, very much slay. We just go slay. We're going to have an upgrade Baba Yaga, another Baba Yaga, and uh, upgraded Grimsoul. Forget animals, we are slay. These Baba Yaga are going to be very big too. Assuming this doesn't get hit first and dies, which is 1 in 8 and then the thing will also have to have at least 19 attack, then this should kill itself. Well, it's actually quite big, it might not even do so. We'll hope it kills itself, which should result in me gaining 8-8. Um, eight, eight. And then hopefully the... no, 16-16, right? That would be insane. Is that real? 16-16? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't think I'll even get anything. I literally can't get anything. This thing is too big and the dragon's too small. <laughs> That's such a shame. If it had gone differently, the Bob Aga would have been insanely large for me. Then the 11 hits, I hit back and then the... Elm beats my Baba Yaga and I barely lose. Oh well. Hmm, I don't need lower level characters anyway. So let's try and find... Uh, no. No, we don't have anything that would make putting this here a good choice. I'm selling this and upgrading the dragon. Hopefully the dragon can kill something. If it kills something, we should get 6 times. So a 12-12. Uh, it sounds insane, honestly. It just sounds insane. Let's try it out. We just need a Dromont to make everything so much better. If we can find Dromont, then uh, we should be good. I should also look into that uh, Prince um, Lancelot. Replacing the dragon with it just because it'll grow insanely fast and that's basically what we want. I mean, how many more characters are we even going to purchase, right? Getting everything plus 20 plus 20 when you purchase it is nice for now, but... Soon it'll just be about what's in the already in the game, in the matchup. Okay, that should have worked. I don't think this thing kills, it's got like... oh, hmm... Uh, one and two. Yes, it's actually killed. Let's see how many. It should have been the full one, right? So 24, 24? Is that how it works? It makes no sense to me. 24, 24 sounds like it's too good. Hmm. Now we barely won. But more important than that... Look at those stats, it's insane. It's utterly bonkers. 
I mean, this is going to be <laughs> mighty big, so is this. And I think I should just get something, anything, instead of these three. Because, it's, no, uh, perhaps it's a bit early. We should, oh, here it is. Thank you. Um, do we want anything else? This might be interesting. Instead of these guys, it's just so much bigger and stronger, that's insane. And I'll do a free roll. Okay, we want this to mount very much. Uh, for now, can I sell one, two, three, four? No, even if I sell four, I guess I could just buy this and make it much, much bigger. Does that matter? I suppose uh, this is also fine. It's a 5-5, five, five, that someone's a 10-10, that ten, someone's a 12-12. Eh, it's not comparable, but I guess it'll do. 27, basically, 27 of stats. Which is okay compared to this, it's slightly smaller. It's not worth uh, investing 4 gold into. But I'm gonna definitely take this drum and put it here. And then we'll see where we go. Storm King, without casting almost any spells, look at the size of it. <laughs> I think I didn't get any uh, slave with the dragon at all. No, wait, I did. If it was just the dragon, I don't think it would have been this big, right? So I did get it. Which would make the next draw among much, much bigger. <laughs> That's one of the most interesting slay games I've ever had. 72, 72 Dromund. Don't mind if I do. That seems silly. Should I take these? If I take... The, it'll be 100 and 100 that gives 200 to 100 to somebody. Is that right? Is that worthwhile? I think just getting more Grim Soul is better though. And this is pointless. Grim Soul and Baba Yaga, right? Hmm. This is totally worth it. 62. Think about it, instead of this. Just just put it first. Just put it first. Almost anything will die. And if you upgrade it, even more insanity ensues. <laughs> I think so. Wait, this is better. Yeah, insanity will definitely ensue soon. If I can upgrade this Doom Breath, it'll have like a 120 attack and 118 or something health on it. Almost always it'll just kill a bunch of stuff. If I can find an artifact level 6 while I upgrade it, or the Jormund for double damage, then I'd even have a dragon with 200 and, and 40 attack or something. That's just insane. This is definitely one of the ways to make dragon work that I've never thought of. Nah, that was useless. Oh wow, that's both wizards. <laughs> yeah, but you barely have anything left, my friend. <laughs> You're out. Unless I'm very much mistaken, I think I beat him almost all the time. Oh, he died, never mind. <laughs> This was an amazing game. I had fun. I've never tried this particular synergy before. Geppetto apparently doesn't need animals uh, when you have this insane luck. We don't even need the artifacts. Look at our artifacts. I mean, I suppose Stuff of the Old Toad contri contributed quite a bit, but other than that... Yeah, <laughs> that was quite a game. Uh, if you enjoyed it, you may comment, like, subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And if you have any criticism or anything that you'd like to suggest, I'd also like to hear. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.